Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me for a live jewelry jar bag that you can decide on, that you can vote on as to which one I will pick to open because I have a little bit of a choice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm kind of conducting a little bit of a survey. Hey Tammy, thanks for being here. Hi Perla's Precious. Hi Perla's Precious. Jewelry, I think it is, isn't it? Your whole name didn't come out on there. And Peterson, and it looks like Jean and Swamp is here as well. How are you, Glenn? Um, yeah, so I have about, I have three different choices because I really want to do a virgin jewelry jar, and I coined that phrase in MSP's auction uh, about a year ago. And uh, basically it means a jar that is not prepared, not uh, what do you call it? Not uh, fixed or put together by a reseller or anybody else, but by the Goodwill or the thrift stores. That's what I called a virgin jar. And that's what I want to offer when I do go on the auction on August 1st. I was, I've, I've always been a little bit apprehensive about bringing out a jar because I feel like people might think it was, you know, curated by me and that it wasn't what they wanted and you that's just it you just never know what you're gonna get in a jar right and I did hear someone in a chat how are you Jude I did hear someone in a chat actually say I don't even remember who it was so it's no big deal I mean I wasn't offended or anything but they actually said that they had asked me to do an exchange with a jewelry jar that basically like a swap and I never got that email what I did get, what I often get is will you sell me a jar will you find a jar and sell it to me and I've just basically said no I won't because they're scarce and I just I guess I have fear of missing out <laughs> I have fear of missing out and I just I and I don't feel right about selling them you know at um to someone who just you know thinks that everything I'm not sure how you feel if whether you're really acclimated to the fact that jewelry jars are definitely risky you don't know what you're going to get but anyway I am going to offer one my husband told me the other day he said you don't lose anything you don't know what's in there they don't know what's in there so you should offer a virgin jar so I probably will along with other things I'm not just going to sell jewelry that night hopefully um, if God's willing I'll be on there on December 1st and that's in Dwayne's um, auction channel. Guys, if you're just walking in, I hope that you hit the thumbs up as soon as you walk in. And I hope you were able to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love for you to do that. I think you enjoy the content here. We don't only talk about jewelry and reselling. I often bring you um, regular thrift hauls where I show you handbags. In my handbag hauls, I like to show you the clothing that I buy. I like to show you how I put it together. I used to do a lot of sales videos. Now I'm just pretty much doing jewelry sales video because um, that's kind of what uh, popular demand has, has dictated, really. Everybody seems to be you know, garnering uh, interest in that seems to be garnering, garnering interest. So that's what I'm kind of doing. Um, hi, Nora. How are you, Julie? Let me say hi to a couple more people. Vita is here. Nora A. Uh, Misha, how are you? And Peterson, I did say hello to her, to her, I believe. Nancy, the homemaker. Guillermo, how are you? So what I want to show you today is a jar. Actually, there's only one jar, two, two are bags. And so that we can kind of decide which kind of a, of a bag I, I'm going to put together for the auction or I'm going to bring to the auction. Because this one is really strange. This is one that I've opened uh, before from this store and the manager, one of the employees told me that the manager calls it an accessory bag. <laughs> because I've literally found glasses in there, sunglasses and prescription glasses and I mean, and, and hair bands and different things like that that you wouldn't per se see. Huge choker necklace that's worth about $400. I haven't even listed that one yet. Four or $500, very rare and retired from James Avery, and all in the same bag. And then I found that Mexican green, I don't know, aventurine or it's not Malachite. I don't know what it is. And then I also found the kitty bangle. And the kitty bangle I am selling for $400. And um, someone told me that they found... A br the necklace for about $500 on Ruby Lane, I think it is. And then I saw a bracelet for about $400. So I haven't listed those, but this is the same store. So that's this one. This is one of your votes. 
here, the accessory bag, and this one was marked $49.99. Uh, I think I did this, I did get this one at a discount, so I got it for, let me see, about $35. And then this is just the regular run of the mill. I always find these at the, at the Goodwill, but this is the Goodwill where I found real gold hanging on the rack and where I found really nice things inside as well. It's a small little jar, not very big at all. Uh, and this one I got for about 20 and then this one was great today because I used to get a lot of, um, I used to go to this Goodwill a lot when I worked closer to that, to that area. And it's one of the very first places I started buying jars and I did find some gold earrings once. Well, I found one gold earring. It said Israel and it said 14 karat. And then I didn't buy the others and that's what my husband said. Every time you see jars, just get all of them which I haven't done it all the time, but occasionally I do get all of them. He says, because that's what's going to happen. There's going to be one earring, and then the other one's going to be somewhere else. So I went today, guys, and they finally had, they hadn't had one in probably a year and a half, and I'm not exaggerating. And I kept asking him, and he's like, oh, I haven't had time to put it together, and so forth and so on. Then the clerks would say, oh, we haven't gotten any jewelry. Well, he, today he told me, because I said, finally, you got a bag. And look, he didn't even put tape on it. He put it really loose. And I hadn't even seen it. I was already looking at all the other jewelry, and this one was thrown, like, under a purse. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I said, finally, you got one. He says, well, no, actually, a new manager came and went and looked in the bins and, got, and put one together. So as another Goodwill employee told me, they have these by the tub, by the bins. And they have to go in there and literally scoop them out. And some of them, I guess, really scrutinize them. Some of them don't. I don't know. But he was very nice. And you know what he said? He said, how much is that? And I said, it's $39.99. Isn't that a little expensive? Usually they were. <laughs> I said, I remember paying like $29 and $24. He says, well, I'll let you have it for $29. So he took $10 off. And then I went ahead and got it for another, what, $9 off. So I paid about $20 for it. Wasn't that sweet of him? And I said, I sure hope I find something. He says, I hope you do too. He says, um, that's, you know, his guy came in the other day and told me he sold a book that he found here for $225. <laughs> he says, he showed me the thing on, on everything, the buy from, I guess it was Amazon. He says, um, it was a Hershey's chocolate vintage book, but new, absolutely pristine or something. He says, and to me, it's just a cookbook. I don't care. He's, and he's the manager. He says, I, I could care less. He says, I came in here with nothing. And I'm going to leave with nothing. Except, you know, he started telling me about his creed and religion and all of that. So it was lovely to hear that. Anyway, so tell me which one you want me to open, guys. You want me to or open the accessory bag, the little tiny... Hi, Sandy. How are you? And Anita, the little tiny everyday Goodwill bag that I always get Goodwill or this one. I'm, I hope I find another one from this one again, but that, that way I'll know that you're open to what they call an accessory bag at the auction. If I bring a virgin, which I will bring a virgin jar, whether it be a bag or a jar, but it will not be put together by me in any way, shape or form. Open this bag right here. Open this bag right here or the... Which one? Or the accessory bag. This is where I found all that good James Avery last time. Or the tiny little jar. No takers on the little jar, huh? I know. Bag. Which bag? The accessory bag, which is this one right here. And they always double bag it. Or the one the guy just put together that he told me the manager came and scooped it out of the bins. It's very loose, too. There's, like, no tape on it. You can pretty much see everything in it. It's a couple of watches in there. Okay, let me see what y'all voted. Um, accessory bag. Um, the accessory bag. I think everybody wants the accessory bag instead of the one the guy just put together for me and knocked $10 off the bat and then another $10 at my discount. <laughs> uh, looks like Lucy's here and Valerie from Texas. Thanks, guys, for being here. Okay, so... I'm. Um, I guess it's between the bags, no jars. So this one, the accessory bag with the butterfly in the front there. I know you can't hardly see it, but this one looks like it has nice stuff too. This one, yes, or this one. You want to see all the bags. Okay, well, let's open the... 
This accessory bag is it then. Okay, let's do that one. This is also the place where I found the, what we thought was real ivory, and then somebody said it wasn't real ivory, and then someone got offended anyway. And so it's been good there too, guys. Lots of James Avery coming out of there too. And you'll have to watch another recorded video that I just opened from that place too. I have not been disappointed there, but they're very, um, I don't know, like they put them out at night or something, and then they said, oh, we sold them, and it's a senior day and whatever. See, they double bag this one. Okay, let's see. There's glasses right at the top. Accessory bag. Okay, I said, whatever. Just make sure be nice if they were Ray-Ban. They're just little knockoffs. <laughs> yeah, they're just cheap little knockoff Ray-Ban or aviators, but we're going to dump the rest of it back here and see what's in it. Oh, I did pick some stuff out of their counter too yesterday, which is really nice. I'll show that yes, uh, next time. Okay, there it goes. Here it comes. Okay. All right, here's a very nice beaded stretch, but it's very pretty, and it is glass. Can you see it okay there? Let me move this slide a little bit. Hey, Darlene Crowley, am I saying that right? I'm glad you're here. It's got sort of an oriental design on it. Maybe not oriental. It looked could be, mid yeah, it looks like some other kind of lettering. I don't think it's Asian. But I can't really tell. Can you guys tell what that is? This is very pretty, though. This is a pretty color. I like that. That is very nice. All right, so that's one nice bracelet, even though it's stretch. Very nice. And, of course, your requisite bag of watches here this is a timex though and it's very pretty and leather band looks new so that's nice here's another exotic bangle guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up thanks so much for being here did everybody vote today those who can should i know i just got back 30 minutes before they shut the door no line nothing but it was still kind of hard that little wheel gets on my nerves I don't know why they just don't do a touch screen. Anyway, this is pretty, guys. This is like a coppery, and then this is wood, and it is carved. This is not painted. This is very, very nice, and it's not humongous. Some of these bangles are big. This is very pretty. All right, bangles. And good. Yes, voting is so important. My daughter was so anxious to vote been her first year. This is plastic, but it looks like, uh, like I don't know, like it wants to be amber or something, that yellowish amber. It's very pretty, though. It actually kind of matches that other one over there, but that other one is glass. Okay, see? What is this with the butterflies? Another bangle, but it's cracked. What a shame. This actually looks like a Tory Burch that I sold. I actually had two that I sold on Posh. I had one in black and one in white. Oh, I'm so glad as well. The text messages. Oh my gosh, I've been getting text messages from propagandists, I like to call it, because they're just, they're just annoying. Oh, look how cute this is, guys. They're just so annoying. First of all, because they use like people that you know. They'll say like, hey, this is Randy, and I have like a nephew named Randy, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, I listen to, <laughs> pay attention to it, and it's not even, I guess they use like your call list or something, your contact list in some way this is really cool i think this is an awesome piece right here this is very poshy indeed and that's very well made look at that this is actually a prong set mm -hmm. very fabulous there wow no maker mark on it that i see but it's very substantial very nice metal hey kathleen how are you i'm going to send you some pictures of those rams later I just got back from voting, and then I went and registered my grandson to um, to take start taking swimming lessons every Saturday right here by my house. That way he can come over every Saturday. <laughs> okay, wow. These are some nice bangles. They really are. This is just wood, but it's got nice little rhinestones all around it. Hi, Lizzie. 
blue. This one's missing here, but hmm. could be replaced. Yeah, they might all be just popped out. You know what I would do? I'd pop them all out and put a dab of nail polish or something to fix that up. Be easier. Just to get them uniform. Okay, it's like a little magnet. No, it's got a clamp. Some kind of clamp bracelet. I don't think it's real leather, but it's black, and it does open there. Interesting. And here's another chain. Very, very nice color still on this. This reminds me of a St. John that I have that I have not listed yet. But I think it has a little black around it. That's very pretty, very heavy. Very nice. But yeah, I'm certainly glad to see all the ads gone. Even though I don't watch TV, but boy, they're on the radio. They're on your phone. You can't avoid it. This is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. I'm surprised there's not a maker mark on it. Because it is very heavy. It looks like it should have Monet or something written on it. 70 people watching, guys. 40 of y'all need to go put the thumbs up for me. Because you know the thumbs down are going to come. They always do. You got to cancel them out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, an American flag pin. This is a nice one, too. This is enamel. Sometimes they're just like a little piece of paper taped on them. This is a very nice one. I like it. It's even got a yellow ribbon. Very pretty. I like that. I have a big collection of those. Okay, here's a big set of rolling bangles. And it's tangled up with some dolphins. I think they're dolphin. No, they're not. <laughs> some kind of look like a, a little school of dolphins. Is it? It's a bird. I don't know. That's interesting. But there is a big tangle here. There's an earring in here. There's a chain. Very nice little crystal. Topaz color on a box chain. Some of this could be sterling. I don't know if I'm going to untangle it all, but I'll let you look at it. Let me take my magnet to it, see if any of it's worth investigating well the gold one's stuck looks like the silver one stuck too is to take a look at the hallmark or something that may be silver or gold if it doesn't stick so we're gonna try to untangle that later my goodness there's a pearl stud there and this is just a whole bunch of bangles and they're tangled up with the chains. They're just gold tone, but they're very nice. There's quite a few. Looks like there's 10 or so in there. So, but they're all intertwined there. Great, great. I'm glad to hear there's no thumbs down yet. Awesome. <laughs> all right, let me try to get this out of here anyway. So far. Okay. All right, got that one out at least. Here's a pretty earring. That looks like a druzy. Or is it a... Oh, no, that's part of this medallion here. That's pretty. Last time I found some rings like this, guys, they were small. I don't know if you saw them, but they said love and all kinds of stuff around them. And they turned out to be 925 but they were colored like this. This is really interesting. Look at that little peacock feather. Yeah, this is a pretty little piece. And then there's the chain there. Does it have a maker mark? Let's see if I can unhook it here. No, it's, it's part of the big tangle here. So it's a pretty necklace. It's got some crystal type beads. It's got this as a ring centerpiece. And then it's got like a druzy, a actual peacock feather, some tassels, some rhinestones. Very nice. It's a little messed up. Is it like off center? Is that it? Or is it buffering again? Okay, here's an earring. Is this better? This is a pretty earring. Hope I find the mate to that. 
Okay, here's a pink stud. I like to put those aside. Here is a huge exotic necklace. It's tangled up with some butterfly earrings. Wow, I thought this was when I saw these butterflies, I thought they would I thought they were like wind chimes cuz you know, it is an accessory bag. <laughs> but they're earrings. They're literally earrings, gold tone. Wow, those are big. Really big. So one would sit a little higher than the other, very tin-like, which I guess is good. I mean, they would be really weighty if they weren't. But that is some earrings. Wow, that's really interesting. I hope there's another one, though. And then here are these. Now, I'm, I'm intrigued by these beads, guys. They have that beautiful butterscotch color that makes me think it might be Bakelite or something, but I don't know. They might make things that look like this nowadays. You guys can school me on that. I'm not sure. Then they have like an amber looking bead on the inside. They're very, very well made. The stretch is actually double and it appears to be coated as well. This is a very nice little, it's big on me though, but it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, 79 people watching. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the content here. If you are, please be sure and subscribe. This is a wooden bangle. It's really pretty too. Purple flowers painted on there. Those are nice. Pesky accessories here. Little rubber band hair accessory. We'll just trash that. Oh, this is pretty. This is a nice little medallion. I like that. Let me see who's in here while y'all look at that. Lucy, how are you? Cancer sucks. I'm glad you're here. And Princess Casserole. Babs Babsy's here. All right. Yeah, this is pretty. It has very nice green teal. And then that's just a little piece of red something there. That's pretty. It's got like a gunmetal color to it and the chain is gunmetal colored as well it does have a tag let me see what the tag says i brought my magnifying glass this time chico's wow that means it's pretty good chico's makes pretty good jewelry very expensive that is really pretty. I would not like it this long, though. Whenever I see big things like this, I don't know. I just feel like they either have to be right right at the like the collarbone area or just a little below because I feel like it would move too much. But this is beautiful. Really pretty stones. And they are glass. That's a nice one. Yeah, I'm impressed so far. Now, this was the more expensive one. This one was 49 bucks, guys. But I still got a discount, so I got it for 35 Pretty little bangle. It is copper. This is real copper. You can see it. And some faux pearls around it. That's nice. And then here's some green. Ooh, this is pretty. I like anything green. That's very pretty. That's glass. This is metal and some rhinestones. And then these are plastic. All of the green beads are plastic. I don't know about the gold. They might be metal. But that's really nice. That is a very nice color. And I like the way they put that together. It does not have a clasp at all. Here's another pearl stud there, post. But that's beautiful. And that's a nice length. That's very long. Now, something like this, I don't know, maybe because of the beads, I think it would sit better and I wouldn't mind it being this long. Hey, Susan Bishop, how are you? I like this a lot, too. That's very different. I don't know if it was handcrafted at home or what, homemade, but it's really pretty. And, of course, we always get these exotic-looking bracelets. I've told you guys, Houston's very diverse and um, a strong influx of people from other nations. Pesky hair there, but this is, this is a really nice one. It's a heavy metal. And just little floral motifs, bangle. Very pretty. Okay, here's something silver. Let it be good. Let it be good. Well, I don't know. What does it say? Thomas Sand. Does that say Sterling, guys? Let's check it out. And who is Thomas Sand? 
Yes, it says four. It's interesting. It has, it says 925, but then it has like, I guess that's his full hallmark. hallmark. Then it has, and I've never heard of it, so you guys can school me. It has like a few letters in front of the 925. So it has like A11925. And then it says Thomas Sands. I think that's it because it's what it says right here, right? Is that what it says? Charles? I don't know. I can't read it all. I thought it said Thomas Sand. There it is. There it says Sand. Thomas Sabo. What? I said Sand. Th Thomas Sabo. Um, Charm Club. Oh, okay. These are cute. Well, I didn't know there was such a thing. It like, looks like a starter net bracelet. That's a good jar already, guys. Cool beans. Yes, we got a little puffy. Very cute. Also Hallmarked. 925 and with the signature there and enamel on this side pretty puffy heart and this is a really pretty bracelet heavy nice and heavy never heard of this brand have you guys heard of this brand sabo thomas sabo looks like what it says maybe it's like um i don't know there's so much jewelry on qvc and shopping network nowadays so that's cool guys we got a sterling charm bracelet i like that very pretty. Okay, I've been watching some of those. Um, one of my subscribers, longtime subscriber, long before we really were doing jewelry. We did a lot of thrift hauls together and things, and she would do a lot of um, challenges. She was doing a Pandora collection video, and she, oh my gosh, she has all these Disney ones. I didn't know they had all that. And then she has this one that's like a cuff. Have you guys seen that one where it's like an open, open cuff, and you can just unscrew the little balls? And stick your Pandora charms in there. I fell in love. Now I want, now I want a Pandora. Well, I do have one. I found one in a in a thing the other day. But I don't know. I think I might sell that. This one's full of hair. I'm not even going to show it to you. It's disgusting. I don't even know what it is. I think it's part of a necklace. It's pearls and stuff. It's, it's tangled up with hair more than anything. Um, and I fell in love with her Pandora collection. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we do have a match on these these will sell guys i just know somebody's gonna want these look at that i mean you'd be well you probably wouldn't be but if you live in a big city you'd be surprised what people wear you know there there's a mix of people that like everything not everybody likes the same thing and that's wonderful otherwise it would be very boring oh there's two up here and then they dangle <laughs> Look at that. It takes up half my hand. That is huge. But I'm going to put those on posh. I'd like to get somebody to model them, though. I'm going to see if my daughter will model them. Because you can't put that on a stand or anywhere and really convey the size and grandeur of that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, that is so cute. Okay, here's some pearls. A very long strand of pearls. Very nice feeling. I don't think they're real, but they're probably... Look, they're busted. Somebody tied them up. So this will be a nice addition to a bead lot or to a craft lot. Just little pearls. All right. Here's another little fashion bangle. It's very heavy, but it has lost its color. It looks like it may be copper, and if it is, I'm going and I'm going to do a video, guys, on how I'm removing these finishes and revealing the the copper color. I'm going to do that very soon. I may do it tonight and upload it this weekend or something, because when it's copper, I'm I love copper, and um, you know why just throw away the thing if you can just get some kind of military or uniform pin there when you can restore it to its original. Okay, here's a little diamond stud which I'm sure is only a CZ or a crystal, but there it is there. I like to save those, though. I have a whole baggie full. Many people like to wear those multi. Ooh, this is a pretty pendant. Look at that. That's really pretty. It um, has like a little tassel at the bottom there. Sherry, how are you? And then it's black actually not black they're kind of garnet colored and a pearl in the middle rhinestones all around pearls actually in the middle and in the center there 
Hey, frugal gal, how are you? And then look how they held that little tassel of pearls with like a little cone. Let's look at the back. This is really a nice pendant. Very pretty. Well made. Pretty garnet colored stones on that. I'll have to put that on the chain. That is beautiful and sell it. Here's a silver puff heart on a snake chain. Let's see what it says on the tag. I don't think it's sterling, but it does say something. It says clears. Clears. Okay. Claire's has all the trends, right? For sure. Okay. So it's just a little, it's kind of long too. But it's pretty. Still has a nice color to it. And then here is a gold necklace, gold colored. I don't think it's real gold. But we'll test it and see. Oh, we'll do it with the magnet anyway. No, it's picking it up. It's pretty, though. And it does have a little tag as well. And this one looks like it says Napier or Monet on it. Let me check and see. No, it says Avon. I'm surprised I don't recognize Avon from, from the tag. But they have so many different tags. This is pretty, though. And Avon does make nice jewelry. They really do. That It keeps its color very nicely. Okay, here's a silver. No, is this gold or silver? This is pretty. It's got a little... You know, I've seen this charm, guys, with like a T. If you guys know what that is, let me know. It's like the hang tag of it. It does have this interesting jump ring almost like it looks vintage i don't every time i see this i think it wants to say made in korea because it seems like they used to use that a lot this is a very pretty little chain though it really is and i don't think it's gold or anything might be gold filled it didn't quite stick very hard but we'll see okay more pearls hey cc how are you and then we have, oh, some very dirty pearls, but they are knotted. They are knotted, so they're probably, no, this will probably, look, is this the one I just know? This one's knotted too, guys, so it's two strands that busted. That'll go in a craft lot or a bead lot, probably a craft lot because they're knotted. That'd be a pain to, to undo. All right, here's a pretty cuff. Very nice, still nice and gold color. I don't want to put it on because I have my watch on. But that's pretty. That is really pretty. I like the way that looks. It's a very nice cuff. Okay. Oh my goodness. I guess these were earrings because here's the other one. I should wash them even though the other one had hair. See? They're very long. They're almost like a little cluster of grapes up here and then they tassel down here that's really kind of cool yeah i may just wash these up and list them because they're they're really kind of pretty especially for the holidays coming up people like to put on that exotic jewelry yeah i think i will stick stick those in a little oh look how cute is that anybody from uh, i think this is the new orleans saints right that is cool it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. That is really cool. 3D helmet charm on a gold toggle bracelet. I don't see it. I thought it might stay in the van there. 3D and stone missing off the bat. Still nice gold color. That's pretty. That'd probably sell on Posh, too. I sell a lot of things, like, fan-oriented on Posh, too. I've sold, like, my daughter worked at Victoria's Secret as a manager for a few years, and she bought a lot of things from the Texans and the Astros and the, the our Posh teams, the, the Longhorns. And I sold the ones that she left and told me to sell. I sold them on Posh, and pretty quick. Okay, here's a really pretty exotic bangle clamp bangle very pretty looks like it's bronze this 
looks so pretty when it's polished. Bronze really shines up. Maybe brass, but there's not that much difference between brass and bronze. A few elements here and there. <laughs> That's very nice. This kind of jewelry does sell as well with all of this. Um, I don't want to say if it's Moroccan or what the design is exactly, but very pretty bracelet. Very nice. I've been using the Semichrome as well, Carla, to polish the brass. And it polishes up very nice. The Semichrome is amazing, but you got to be very careful. Don't, don't get it near your costume jewelry. It will strip it. Okay, here's a pretty charm. It may be 10K. It looks like the color of 10K, but maybe not. It could just be... It's not sticking to the magnet. But see, somehow or another from the back to me, it looks like 10K. It's a little bird, it looks like. It almost looks like it should be an airline charm. What do you think? Have you all ever seen that? It's kind of cool. I don't see any kind of mark. I may have to test that, though. Or maybe it's just colored sterling or something. It's an interesting um, logo or whatever that is. Looks like a bird, but it also looks like a plane. Gracias, Guadalupe. ¿Cómo estás? Muy amable. Okay, this is a tiny little wreath or a bow with a bow on top. But it looks like it's missing and they are a little yellow, but it's so cute. Really cute little mini. I think it was a Christmas brooch. It looks like it's missing a little stone at the very top. It'd be nice to replace all of these because they have yellowed. All right, well, not too bad, guys. So far, a sterling bracelet, some very interesting costume pieces. This is pretty, too. And very nice beads here. I love these beads, especially when they're different like this with a heart. That's pretty. Gracias, Ana. Igual. Igualmente. Isn't that darling? I like, oh, it's got a fish charm, some little spacers here. These are cute. People have fun making these, don't they? I haven't made jewelry in so long. I'll start one day, maybe in the summer when I'm off. Okay, we got a bunch of these posts. I got them in every color. I got some pink ones a minute ago. And we got the U.S. It's probably from the Army. Give that to my husband. He was in the Army. Oh, here's another nice bracelet. This definitely matches that necklace. So we got a set. This is pretty. Looks very expensive. And here's the, I mean, it's very, very nice and colorful. And definitely the match here. This is definitely well made. Super pretty. With the necklace and the matching bracelet. And then you could even dangle a charm if you wanted to. Where's that football? I'd rather put this little football there. No, the football thing is so cute. Oh, gosh, I got to get to listing. I got to get to taking pictures. Tomorrow's another challenge at Chick Pickers' channel. If anybody does that, you should. I try when I don't, when, I don't know. I can't do it tomorrow. About three back-to-back -back meetings. And sometimes if I have a, an easy day, I'll enter the challenge, take some pictures, and let it roll, see if I sell anything. Okay, more of these studs. Oh, my goodness, those are going to be bagged up and... Put in a lot or something. Okay, this is very thin. Feels like it came out of a gumball machine. Super tinny and just a strand, uh, I guess, multi-strand necklace there. I'll put that in my little junk lot going out to eBay. I'm going to do some of these junk lots on eBay soon. Here's a pretty one. Sterling. Well, not sterling, but silver. Definitely not sterling. It does have some green around it, but it looks like paint. But it's pretty, kind of a Yerman style or something with a topaz color. Champagne more like, more like a champagne color on that. And what else do we have? Okay, we have a little baggie of something or the other. Let's hear this, hear into this. Hey, Vicki Porter, how are you? Okay, well, we got some pearls in here. I like to have pearls. And we have a really pretty necklace. 
nice drop there with a ruby colored rhinestones diamond colored rhinestones and sort of a bead ball chain I don't like the chain for it I think it's too much I think it needs a very delicate chain that's pretty you could pass that off as, as real if you put a really thin chain on it that's really pretty I love it it's like a paisley design you guys see that that's really nice. Let me take a drink of water. And say hello to people in the chat. 86 people watching or 85. Guys, go over there and hit the thumbs up if you're watching. I really appreciate you being here. I hope that you come back for some more videos. I am going to do a sales video tonight and try to upload it tomorrow. Show you what I've been selling in jewelry. Some of the things that, um, that I managed to take pictures of and was able to pull down from listings. Because some things I've been selling to subscribers that have inquired when they see something in a haul and sometimes I'm in a hurry to get it out to them and I don't take a picture. All right. Anna's here, Susan, Cece, Guadalupe Rivera. And um, I don't know if I said your name right a little while ago, Guadalupe Dispense. Si no dije tu nombre correcto. All right. All right, let's keep going. We're almost done with this jar. I mean, accessory bag. All right. This is pretty. And this is definitely pretty. I like this. So let me pull you back out. Hang that up before I lose that. I like the pearls, too. All right. Some hearts. This is really pretty. I like this. Still nice and colorful as well. Yeah, so far I think it's been a good bag, Tammy. I really do. Oh, I see something that says Made in Korea over there in the corner. i got to pull that out. So it's a long stations of hearts. Very, very nice. This is pretty. This might be something that would be of interest on Posh, too. People really like these. I see a lot of the young teachers in my school wear this kind of stuff. And like I said, I've seen them in, like when I go to trainings and stuff, and they'll wear them with just like a crisp white shirt or a white t-shirt and put on some really pretty, you know, um, Kendra Scott jewelry and stuff like that. Looks great. Okay, this is cute. I don't know what it means, but it's cute. Kind of a military style with a little highlighted heart there. Red and gray enamel and then red on the heart. And it does say something in the back. Let's see what it says. It says the heart medal for lovers everywhere. Okay. Medals of Honor. <laughs> that is so cute. That is really cute. That'd be great on a jean jacket. All right. I think I already showed you this one, right? This big old beaded thing with bonus hair again. Uh, very pretty colors, though. These are the, the ends there. Very nice, actually. And it had an earring attached to it. I don't know if we'll find the mate. Yeah, here it is. So that's nice. We do have some matching earrings. Yeah, they kind of matched up things and everything for us. This is a very nice wooden bangle. It's actually beveled all around. Not huge either. So that's nice. Okay, let's look at this thing that says made in Korea. Oh, this is cute except for the feathers. But this is definitely 70s. I think this is definitely 70s because people really liked their feathers back in the 70s and these kinds of earrings. These are crystal. These are pretty. I, don't, I probably wouldn't remove them. I'd probably sell them like that because they're different. And the feathers are not, you know, they're not filthy or anything. I really like those crystal beads, though. Very unique shape. Really, really unique shape on those. Kind of AB colored there. Really pretty. Okay, so we got that. And then here's a ring that popped out. Is it sterling? It looks like it's missing. Or is it? No, I think it has light colored. Yeah, I think it has light colored stones and dark ones. It's very different. Looks like a moon crate, moon crater or something. No, it's just silver tone fashion piece, but it's pretty. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, do I need any more of these? Look at that. There's just tons, 
Tons of these pearl things. Here's another bangle. This one's pretty too. And it is wood. And it's inlaid with some brass or copper there. Missing something here. That's too bad. I wonder what it had there. Probably another one of these little metal things. Wow. Oh, it's too close. Sorry, guys. Yeah, really close. But it's missing. It was missing something. I don't know, though. Somebody could make something with that in a craft lot. I'm going to stick that in a craft lot. Okay, we did have a matching earring on this one. That champagne colored one as well. And then here's a gold chain with little stations of pearls. Very long and very pretty. And I don't think it has a clasp. This is nice too. That would be nice layered up with this gold one over here. The gold hearts. Okay, and then another watch. This one's not that pretty because of, I don't like the patent leather band on it, but I do like the face and the little faux chrome chrono or whatever, multi time zones there or whatever. That's cute. It, I don't think it has um, a name on it. Let me look and see on the inside. Nope. Um, yeah, it says ditto. <laughs> Just a cheap little Chinese watch, I guess, but it's kind of cute. It really is. I think on a nicer band, it would look good with maybe a tan colored band, kind of a vintage retro look or something would look good. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for hitting that thumbs up. There's still a little bit more, and then we'll... Call it a day. All right, here's kind of that verdigris copper looking stuff, but I don't think it's either. I don't think it's real copper or anything. It just looks like it, but it's pretty. It's got that really pretty patina that copper gets, kind of green leaves and things. Very nice. Yeah, this would be a a really good uh, layering piece as well because it's long. Then you could put a little drop and then maybe a little choker with a little bit of thicker metal or something. That would look nice. That would look very nice. Okay, another cute pin, hard rock. Looks like a couple of hard rock pins in here. Do you guys have luck with hard rock? I know some people have. I think I looked it up on comps once, and I think... Like from foreign countries, they do pretty well. This one says Sam or San Francisco. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's what it says. San Francisco. That's kind of cool. All right, so we have that. And, and here's another one. Another hard rock pin. Yeah, oh, this one's pretty. New York. These are cool. These are really pretty. I'll have to look up comps on these because I have not looked. But I know that once I did look for, you know, from most expensive to comps on eBay. And they're the most expensive, one, you know, like places like Saudi Arabia or somewhere, if they even have any. I don't know. Some foreign country. Okay. Here's an enamel. This is pretty. Cream and gold. It's a pretty necklace, really nice. Oh yeah, that is really pretty. I don't see a maker's mark on it, but I really like the colors, cream and gold. There's beads everywhere. Boy, my little cloth got all dirty. There's special ones from the opening of the restaurant that are worth money, okay. So I assume they probably say grand opening or something on them. Do you know, I've, I have never been to a hard rock. I think I've been to one like in Disney or something where I think we just went in and, out, in and out like to the souvenir shop. I don't even think we ate there. And we have one here in Houston, but I've never been to one. This is a nice piece. It feels very substantial, very well made. I'm surprised it doesn't have a maker mark. I don't see one. I like that. Okay, here's a silver chain. Let's hope it's sterling. I don't think so. Let's see what it says there. 
And let me read this. Nope, 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 nope. It's actually got that pesky verdigris on it. So I'm going to probably clean that. Oh my gosh, look at that. How does verdigris happen? Oh my gosh. From moisture? I'm going to wash that. I think that's how it happens. Okay, here's a statement piece. Okay. More pearls. These are actually a different size. I put those aside. Okay. It's okay. Not bad. These are still popular. People are still... Is this double? Wait a second. No, I think this is... No, this is another one. I like this one better. Let me untangle this one over here. I like this one with the flowers better than the other one, but statement pieces are very popular still. People really buy them and use them. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that. Not too much more. Here it goes. Perfect. All right, this one's a lot prettier. Ooh, this is pretty. Pink. Pink with a really strong opal color to it. And I like the way it's like half of the floral design there. That's really pretty. Very pretty. Ballet pink, but then the, they do have an opal essent color tinge to them there very nice and still gold still got a nice color on the gold tone I don't see a maker's mark either you're taking a college class to get your teaching certificate for the gal renewed I do not know if I want to go back into the public school system I do enjoy teaching very much I do and I'll tell you why because I love seeing the world through the young. I love it. And my, I've taught all grades because I am in special ed. Um, and I, I teach everyone, not just the kids that are on my caseload. If I go into a classroom and I see well, lots of kids struggle, they don't have to be labeled to be struggling. And um, so right now I'm doing eighth grade. And I really feel like I can make a, an impact in their self-esteem. I can make an impact in what they think of the world. They're inundated with a lot of negativity about our country and about the world in general, and they're fearful. And I, I actually have a uh, class that I'm teaching right now. It's an enrichment class, so I don't have just sped kids in there. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have any kids, sped kids in there. So we do a lot of impromptu, or it's a UIL impromptu speech. So I'll throw out a topic or a quote, and they have two minutes to jot down notes and then come to the front and speak about it. And I love to put topics out there that where I can really get to know what they're thinking. And you'd be amazed at some of the things that they fear and that they still dream about and that they think about. And I just love it. I mean, and I put up with the rest of it. This is a Cayman 90 cent stamp in here. It, okay, not an accessory, guys. Now we're turning into what? This is not an accessory bag, but there's a button in there. <laughs> this is crazy. So that's what I love about it. And I put up with all of the rigmarole of meetings and everybody blaming somebody else and 15 emails telling me that I need to do this or that I didn't do this right or that I need to do it again or that, you know, I put up with all of that because I have the pleasure of looking at kids' faces and making them feel they're the future and they are and making them feel that they can make a difference and making them feel that they are not going to be losers just because they made a 70 on a test you know it's they still can be a, a part of this society and be happy and be you know so I'll never give it up until they kick me out until they take me out on a stretcher I love it absolutely and I came to it late I, it's my second career I've only been teaching for about five years I believe so, yeah, I, I love teaching. It is my thing. And I take every opportunity to teach them a lot more than the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> this is a pretty necklace. Really cute. I love this. It looks like one of those little banners that everybody hangs in their rooms nowadays. I don't know what they call it. Pennant, maybe? That is really pretty. It's got a little 
tag on it too, silver colored. And let's see what it says. Looks like it's arrow. Yeah, I think it's American Eagle. It's really cute though, I like it. Really a pretty little necklace. All right, and then this one looked like it was busted. So this is going into the crafter lot. It's busted and it's missing some things and the stones aren't really worth putting into my harvest lot. I like to put the nice uh, vintage rhinestones in there and things that are really brilliant like crystals. I don't really wanna use the run of the mill cheap stuff. All right, look at this. It's like an Easter egg hunt in here. There's a, I must have 50 of those. But, okay, I think I got the other side. I got two U.S. things here. Pretty cool. I think that's Army. And here's the other one. That The other one was dirty. Look how pretty this one is, though. That almost looks like a... Like they used to call these like blue diamonds where they have like a blue tinge, but not quite like an aquamarine. That's pretty. Very brilliant. I wonder if it's sterling. Let me take a look at it. Hold up. Let me look in this loop. Nope. It doesn't say anything, and it does have verdigris as well. I'll be dunking that in some ketchup in just a minute. Thanks to Anita. Gave us that little tip about cleaning all that green gunk with ketchup. And another pearl. And let me just look back here real quick because there's always something that falls. Here's a little stretchy. Looks like tiger eye, but it's plastic. And more pearls, and I think we are winding down, guys. I think you picked a good bag to look at. I did have the other one. This is like a pearl. I mean, like a pear shape. That's a pretty one. I like that one. I'll wear that one. I think that is it. Well, here's a plastic. Broken, too. Okay, junk lot. Oh, no, here's some more over here. And here's a ring, too. Ooh, opal colored. And this looked like a Tory Burch when I first saw it, but it's not. It's just a little design. It is a pretty watch, Peach Geneva. The famous Geneva watches that come in every jar. Do, oh my gosh, I have a, I have a bin. It's not even. It's bigger. It's like the size of uh, a boot box where you would, where your boots would come if you buy boots. Full of watches, guys. And then I have more that are actually running and working, and my husband's put batteries on them, and I just have to list them. I haven't done it yet. And, um, wow, they just keep, they, three or four come in the bags all the time. This is cute. I think it's probably just gold tone, but we will look. It says 18 karat gold electric plate, and it's pretty. And it's got, I don't think they're real pearls. Electric plate, you never know. I can't really tell what real pearls. I know what the man-made pearls look like. I mean, man-made opals, they're really blue. And, and I have actually one or two pieces that have the man-made opals, or the lab created, rather. But I don't know about these. That's a nice setting, though. It's really cute. Let me put it on. It's, it's really pretty. I like it. So, we got a Planet Hollywood pin, too. I showed you that one. Maybe I had, no, I have two, yes. Two American flags. How fitting for today when we made our voices heard once again. We have that privilege to do so here in the greatest country on the planet. All right, let me open this Planet Hollywood. It was sealed. I probably shouldn't have opened it, but I want to take a better look at it. Planet Hollywood Cancun. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I was going to show you this. Let me show it to you now because I'll forget. This is one piece I got from Sandy's auction. She's probably not there anymore. But it came the other day in the mail, and I forgot to show it to you, and it is so pretty. Look how it intertwines there, and it is so heavy. I need to weigh it. I don't think she weighed it. It's very, very hefty, and I'm going to polish that up too. I'm super excited about that one. I actually saw one like this on eBay that I liked. Pretty much the same thing. The links are like knit together. They're just gorgeous. So that's one I got from, from Sandy's auction two weeks ago. I didn't get to buy anything this auction, but we'll try again next time, next Friday. Guys, thank you for being here. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did. I hope you took the time to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't done so. Be sure and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live. 
Oh, do you really have a necklace like that, Carla? Wow, it's so pretty. I can't wait to polish it up a little bit. I think it'll look pretty, a little polished, not too much, but just like maybe the, the little beads. So, uh, guys, be sure and hit that bell, like I said, and come back and see me again. I will talk to you then. Have a great rest of your week. Enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye.